fire escape inspection summary video. This is Inspector Alan Toll. I'm here on Powell Street. Uh, this is the uh, at the Stafford Hotel. This will be my system number one for the day. Uh, there's three different buildings and four systems. So uh, this is a pre-load test inspection, pass-fail inspection. Uh, it's not a repair report. Uh, we are looking for uh, that the fire escape is painted and maintained and that it is structurally sound and ready for a load test. Uh, in order to certify this fire escape, uh, there's a number of options that we have. Number one, uh, these are all original hardware, so we can replace all of the existing bolts, the square head bolts, uh, in lieu of a load test. Um, or we can provide an opinion affidavit letter stating that the best of our opinion, knowledge, and belief that this is a uh, fire escape is ready for its intended use. Uh, if a disclaimer letter, if a uh, affidavit letter is provided, then it needs to be acceptable by the owner's insurance carrier and by the city. Uh, the other option is to load test the fire escape. It's, I'd like to see a couple of items uh, taken care of before we approve this for a load test, but other than that, this fire escape is in pretty good order. Uh, and once we make the, if we, if you choose the load test, then uh, there's a couple repairs that I'd like to see, and then uh, we can proceed to a load test. But in lieu of a load test, we can just replace existing bolts. Like for instance, right here, the square head bolt. We replace that. It negates the need for a load test. We want to verify these bolts back to the to the building. But it is painted. Does not need any paint. I don't see. Uh, very much incidents of rust jacking, but I, there are a couple of places. Mostly, what I'm concerned about is the stringer clips, and I'll show you those as as I proceed. There is a ladder, a ladder that goes to the roof. So I'm not climbed, but it, it is punched through. It's in good order. The connections look good. Um, so I'm going to proceed down and probably film. A couple of the platforms, there's about seven or eight platforms here, uh, and I'll get a picture down below of the, of the full system. But uh, again, if we partially replace some of the, the existing bolts, then the bolts are replaced, there's no need for a, a low touch. So coming down, uh, be very careful because it's a little bit rainy here. But um, I'm going to show you this one. This clip looks to be in relatively good order, as you can see. Uh, I don't see any, really any rust jacking in that, but as I go down, there is more rust jacking that's occurring. Uh, the stringers to the treads look in good order. Uh, no ru internal rust that I see. It's in pretty good shape. If you want to, you know, you could add a bead, clean that out a little bit and add a bead of caulk. But uh, these are all riveted. I don't see any rivets pulling away. So again, if we, we can load test it or we can replace, put a new bolt in there and we're good to go. Uh, the cement work back at this cement, uh, you know, could use a little bit of, of packing in certain cases and caulking, but I don't see much damage. The underside of the platform is in good order. Heading back, continuing back down. Uh, we can see here, pretty much repeats themselves all the way down. Again, can check these connections back to the building. The uh, platforms are in good order. A few, doesn't seem to be, appear many uh, flats that are lifting. Uh, the railings are in good order. But now I'm going to start to show you, I'm going to go down one more here. Start to show you, as you can see here, they're starting Starting to get a little bit of separation. A little separation here. So what I would like to see is to just pull that connection apart and clean out any rust and then uh, just basically re-bolt it if there's not much uh, deterioration on that clip. Same thing here. You can start to see a little bit of separation occurring here. So 
but that's putting stress on those bolts, these existing bolts. Pretty simple fix. If we were to fix that, then uh, we'd be pretty much good to go for a load test. So I'm going to kind of come down to this level, and then I'm going to move down to the second from the bottom level and continue filming down there. So again, a little bit of uh, repair needed. Yes, clean that. It doesn't look like there's any rust to clean, or, but just for future, we want to caulk that and clean that out and make sure that those structural members are fine. So I'm going to, uh, again, this is Alan Toll, registered architect, certified fire escape engineer, and I'm going to move down a couple, couple levels and complete my uh, video down below.